$70 is not much money when it comes to buying a functional sword, and for the most part, I'd advise people to run far away from any sword priced around there. Every so often, however, a bargain can be found. Is a munitions grade Devil's Edge Ziphos one of those? Hello, this is Kyle, also known as AlienTube, and I'm here today with a short mini review of the bone hilted Devil's Edge Ziphos I received in a mystery crate from Cult of Athena. Like many of the items in a KOA mystery crate, this is munitions grade. That is, either Cult of Athena or the factory noticed some flaws in the sword that would keep it from being sold at full price. They have a lot of munitions grade Devil's Edge blades, which implies a lack of consistent quality, and these bone hilted Ziphos are no exception. Brand new and unblemished, they sell for $125.95, with munitions grade offerings dropped to the price of $69.95. What makes this specific Ziphos munitions grade? There's honestly not much. The fit of the leather sheath to the blade is dreadful, but frankly that's the case with most Devil's Edge items. I think the primary reason is that the sword has a slight warp to it. It's not perfectly straight and aligned with the hilt, but it's pretty hard to see. There's an elephant in the room when it comes to Devil's Edge, and that's the steel they use. When they were first advertised, they were listed as 1095 steel. The Cult of Athena did some metallurgical testing, and it came back that the majority of the blades were actually stainless steel. 420 stainless steel, to be exact. That's a drastic difference in steel quality for swords, and it's probably another reason Cult of Athena seems to be including at least one Devil's Edge product in every mystery crate. Now as I understand it, 420 stainless steel is actually not a bad knife steel, but it doesn't hold up well when blades extended to sword length due to the vibrations a sword needs to deal with and the flexibility they require. Luckily, the Ziphos I have here is quite short. The blade's only around 13 inches long, and I believe that's within the acceptable range for this type of steel. So let's take a quick look at the features of this sword. As I mentioned, it comes with a leather sheath, which is very typical of the budget-oriented blades that come out of Devil's Edge's home country, Pakistan. It kind of does the job of holding the blade in place, but frankly, it's a poor fit, and I wouldn't really trust it to wear. The Ziphos itself features two attractively polished bone scales attached to the tang via steel pins. There's multiple layers of construction here, and I'm not quite sure how it all fits together, but it works as an effective grip. I can get a nice tight grip and keep the blade from rotating. The steel butt cap has an odd, irregular shape to match the bone. Overall, I like the grip. It's nice looking, and it works well. The blade is leaf shaped, has a simple satin polish, and is very stiff. It doesn't flex at all. There are prominent secondary bevels here, but they're done pretty well. The angle isn't so large that it negatively impacts cutting, and the sword is actually quite sharp along the entire length of the blade. To showcase that, let's take a look at some cutting footage. Yep, I think it cuts quite well. My wife has taken a liking to this sword, and while she won't let me film her doing any cutting, she was able to get her first silent cut using it. That is, a cut that leaves the bottom of the bottle in place. Going back for a moment to the pork roast, I want to highlight this last stab for two reasons. First, it hit the bone pretty hard, and the Ziphos took no damage whatsoever. Secondly, this stab hurt me. I blame myself for the grip, however. I was using something akin to a saber grip with my thumb along the tang. When I hit the bone, my thumb jammed up against the guard, leaving me with a fun little bruise. 
So if you have one of these and are going to do some thrusting tests, you'll probably want to pay more attention to your grip. Now, what's the bottom line? Is this sword worth the $69.95 price tag? I think so. It's a fun little short sword slash long knife, well sharpened and easy to use. I think it's a good entry point for people who are interested in getting a sword, but don't necessarily have the disposable income to be able to shell out hundreds or thousands on higher quality pieces. I'm certainly glad I received this sword in my mystery crates, and so is my wife. She's pretty much claimed it as her go-to when she wants to take some aggression out on water bottles. That being said, while I can't say for sure if the standard grade sword is worth nearly double the price, my hunch is that it's not, at least as long as these munitions grade swords are available. And that's going to bring this mini review to a close. Thank you for watching, and until next time, Alien 2 out.